Attack on Titan, chapter 131, Rumbling. Okay, see this, Halil? You and I are the only two who know about the stash. We'll save up our money until this bag is full. Once we do, I know we'll all be able to move somewhere nice together. But Ramsey, if you keep on stealing like this, you're going to get your left hand cut off too someday. He's missing right. I don't want you making grandfather sad again. But if someone doesn't do this, we'll all be stuck in that crumbling tent. Now everyone can survive the winter in those. People die every year. Yes, I'm done living like that. So, Halil, I want you to give this money to everyone if I die. Ramsey, huh? Hide it. Are people running? What's going on? The townspeople are running. Huh? Why? The ground, jolt, jolt. You see the Titans? It's crying. Birds flying? I don't know when in the future it will happen. But I am going to kill everyone of these people. And a flashback. Gave a life. There's Aaron. They're all going to die soon. No. I'm going to kill them. Yes. That's what's going to happen. It must be that we never found a way for paradise to survive. It's all going to go away. These homes, these people, these animals, these lives, these dreams. A pregnant woman thinks about his mom. What would mom think? Aren't we Eldians the ones who ought to die? Just as the king of the walls chose the path of death for him and his people? At the very least, so many more people would have to die on the outside compared to on the island. And it's true that the problem of the Titans would vanish if the world were wiped clean of Eldians. But I just can't accept an end like that. Oh, there's one of the boys. That boy gets punched in the stomach. I've seen him in a future memory. I think I'm going to save this boy. Okay, against three guys. This brat's a refugee and a serial pickpocket. The way us merchants see it. We're just doing pest control here. It's none of your business. Get lost. Yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? I'm just going to kill that boy someday. How conceited of me. I'm going to be wreaking the ultimate in violence. Knees in the stomach. Hoop. How could I dare pretend to stand for justice? Ugh, pukes up. So they actually save him? Points at the tents. Thank you. It looks like the future doesn't change. Reiner. Oh, he beat up all three. I'm just like you, Reiner. A half-hearted piece of garbage. Nose down. No, I'm not. I'm even worse than that. He's crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? Why are you crying? Ramsey, hurry. This way. He has a bag of money. And they're coming close. Okay. Run, run. Titans, why? Run towards high ground. Climb the mountains. We can't. Look over there. And there are there. The Titans are even climbing the mountains. It's over us. There's nowhere for us to run. No. Are you saying we just have to die? Did the Marlins run without telling us a thing? Those Titans are so fast. Can we at least save the children? Ramsey, are we going to get trampled? Of course not. You can't give up. The island. It's a save Eldia, but it's more than that. They're running. Ah! Drops the bag of money. Halil, our money. What was really beyond the walls was nothing like the world I dreamed of. Halil. Got the Titans coming, smashing the the buildings. Comes a foot. Explodes. Oh, rocks in there. It wasn't like the world I saw in Armin's book. Ooh, they get crushed. When I learned that humanity lived beyond the walls, I was so disappointed. Ooh, crush his leg. Crush the other guy's head. What's coming down? I wish for it. I wanted to wipe it all away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he sees your mirror. He's crushed. I'm sorry. Man. 
mile foot. And everyone's pounded the gates. Oh, they're about to be smushed. Guy do with two bags looking up. Boom. Being footprints. And there's Aaron. Ever since I was born. There. Before my eyes. Ooh. Got Armin coming in. Stood those miserable walls. Flaming water. Frozen plains. Snow fields on sand. I'm sure that the outside world is way bigger than the one inside of these walls. Has the book? Oh, it's being trampled. No one who saw those things would be the freest person in the world. This is freedom. Aaron above the clouds. Smash them. Finally, we're here at last. This is that sight. Right, Armin? Oh, he's at the connection. A little Aaron. Seen the current version of Armin. Aaron. It's on the boat just staring. There's Annie just sitting there. Healed up already? Huh? Annie? Yeah. I had some time. I never imagined life would be... Oof. So they back here. Want to take a seat? Sits next to her. I figured. I hadn't thanked you yet. So... Huh? For years. You came to talk to me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I was so lonely that I felt like I might lose my mind. The only thing I could look forward to was hearing you and Hitch talk. Annie. But why? Why did you bother talking to a rock that couldn't so much as grunt a response back to you? Huh? There. Must have been more fun and cheerful girls out there, right? That's... No. Annie, I did it because I wanted to see you. Okay. Why? Huh? Do you really not get it? You don't have to hitch tease me that much? I don't. Whoosh. Really? What are we doing? Right now, millions and millions of people are being trampled around the world. What are we even doing? Yeah. Now I get it. You're a good person. And that's why you were even willing to talk to an enemy like me, right? It's the same reason you won't give up on having a dialogue with Aaron. That's what drove you to bother with the monster who would wake up any moment. You wanted to avoid conflict, right? Okay, she's getting up, grabs her wrist, sit down, grips. Also, I know I told you this before, but I really don't like being called a good person after all. I've killed a lot of people. Not just soldiers, regular people, children, and now I've made the choice to betray everyone living on the island where I was born and raised. I killed my allies. I've been a monster for a long time now. Somewhere in my head, there was a promise I made to Aaron that we travel the world of the unknown. I thought it would come true. The world of the unknown? wasn't all it was cracked up to be, was it? No. It wasn't a world we dreamed of. But, got a seagull, whoosh. Slap, comes down, looks at it. There's Aaron's head. I still want to believe that there's still a world we don't know about yet out there. Past the walls. Man. Yeah, we got Aaron's severed head with the elongated spine. And him just connected to uh, everything. Man. So he even saw the future. Like. So Armin. Basically at that point saw Aaron. Because he wanted to talk to him or. Like, the fact that Annie hasn't realized that Armin likes her. Man. Everyone was crushed. So what is beyond there? And Smashed. 
So he saw Ymir, like a vision of her. Or is she just watching? Just Aaron's like full on form, man. Just looking at his ribs and everything. So even when he was a kid, he. No. He consumed the Titan when I was telling about the outside world. I thought it was like after, or maybe it was just latent. Is that what he was crying about? Is that head like a Titan's or that person? The flowers. Like over the clouds, everyone just accepting their fate. Man, how are they supposed to stop him? We listen. Is it possible that the closer they get to him, uh, like they can? Talked him in the past. Well, where are your thoughts? Where do you think this is going? Um, if you enjoyed the chapter, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye.